Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is acknowledging an airstrike on the city of Rafah that kills dozens of Palestinians over the weekend. NBC's Raf Sanchez has more. This morning, new fallout after that deadly Israeli strike in Rafah over the weekend. An Israeli official tells NBC News it appears that an IDF bomb ignited a gas tank at the tent camp, sending flames ripping through the site as displaced families slept in shelters made of wood and plastic. At least 45 people were killed, according to the emergency services in Hamas-run Gaza. Many of them women and children. Hundreds more wounded. These three brothers lost their only sister. They say she was seven months pregnant. The IDF said the strike killed two senior Hamas commanders. But amid international criticism, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling it a tragic incident and promising an investigation. Though giving no sign, he'll halt the military offensive in Rafah. The White House says the images are heartbreaking, adding Israel must take every precaution possible to protect civilians. The death toll in Rafa bringing protesters onto the streets. From New York to Los Angeles to Paris, where demonstrators clashed with police. Many of the families at the Rafa camp had been displaced several times already by the fighting, but were still unable to outrun the war. Why did those innocent people die? What was their guilt, this woman asks. Now they're packing up their tents once again and preparing to move on. The U.S. military is currently unable to deliver aid into Gaza by sea after its temporary pier system suffered damage in bad weather. The, an, a U.N. official said that it could take a week to repair. The damage to the causeway is the latest mishap to beset the American military aid operation. Over the weekend, four small boats burst their mornings and wash up on the coast. A U.S. service member remains in critical condition in an Israeli hospital after suffering non-combat injuries on the pier last week.